Good day, everybody. Welcome to the Ball and Backfrost podcast. My name is Gio. We have our first inaugural guest for the podcast, Akim, as you can see. He is a a Manchester United fan. Um, I won't kick off the banter too quick and change the the team names and tell you that you're money or United or anything like that. But <laughs> welcome to the show. It's a pleasure yeah, to have you here. Yeah, man, and, it's good to be here. And how are you feeling for the upcoming season? Excited? Just a weekend away? Yeah, I'm very excited. Some new signings. Um, so excited to see how the team gel, how everybody uh, play together and, you yeah. See how the season go, but very, very excited. It's gonna be a very exciting season, so looking forward to that. Well, I mean, this episode of the podcast, we're going to go for unbiased view. We're going to go for more of a of a preview for Manchester United and Liverpool, and I'm gonna try. I'm going to try and be positive about the team. Um, <laughs> it's not something that comes naturally, as you can see. You know, no unbiased or anything like that, but. I'm going to try and be very objective because, you know, as a host, I'm supposed to be. Um, we're supposed to have another guest from the Liverpool fan group in Jamaica, but he could make it. Hopefully, a lot of the other guys will be able to make it the next time. As you can see, one of the sides of the headphone is broken. It's to make sure that, you know what I mean? When I don't want to hear something that you say, I can just click off you, you know what I mean? Maintain sanity because... For whatever reason, every Manchester United thinks that this is going to be a title we did here, and you know, it's been quite a while. So, anyhow, going on to the signings, what do you think about the new signings? Um, a new keeper. Oh, no, no, I've been watching him for some time now. I think he's he's a very good ball handler. Um probably better than the hair. Um respect there is has been at the club for a number of years now. So now I really bash him, but it's good to see some some new new persons coming in and kind of change up certain things, the system. Um, so excited to see that um, uh, the new striker. We haven't had a, like a, a good striker in a while, so I'm sure hope. Good striker. Well, I've I've, I've seen some I'm videos. I've seen nine goals. <laughs> I know you haven't seen many videos because you know he only has nine. He's young. <laughs> He's young, but but I see a lot of opportunity. <laughs> He's the future, so yeah, yeah, you know. You have so to look no at that. Um, not really. It's just a uh, um, this season I more want him to just get used to the Premier League because coming over to the Premier League, it, it's gonna take a while to adjust to the tempo, of the game, and everything. So, um, yeah, just not putting too much pressure on him. Just want him to. You know what Get I a feel of the premiere. <laughs> you know what I, I love about you, man, you fan. <laughs> it's the last season when Darwin came in. <laughs> he took a little while to get going. All I heard was, oh, God. You know, 65 million. When I said you're going Andy Carroll, and all of a sudden you guys bring it up as a striker for 75. I just want him to get used to the system, you know. <laughs> Take a little time. Well, no, why, why no urgent? Because, you know, it's funny. I was looking at a stat. Sorry to cut you, but I was looking at a stat. Everton, right? Right. Ever, Everton had an average base. Like, when you look on performances, breakdown from striker, midfield, defense, goalkeeper. They had above average goalkeeping, average defense, above average midfield but they only got one goal from their striking from calvert Lewin all season i used right. to where they end up so I, I keep on saying to myself i'm like if you guys don't get somebody to put the ball in the back of the net sooner sooner rather than later you know what i mean it's going to start affecting the table and the slide down right right definitely so that's the most important stats in football right now so no goals <laughs> no wins you know what i mean yeah. so I, I don't understand what you guys are I thought that you guys were going to go for Hurricane, personally. I, I thought so too. Um, Hurricane would have been a great signing because he definitely know how to put the ball in the net. You know, I'm not sure what happened there, but you know, we still have to stay on the positive side and and see. I mean, we have other players 
um, that Rashford had a great season last year. Um, Anthony Natum. Yeah, I think Rashford is a very good baller. In the latter part, he, he had, you know, with, I'm with the injuries. Yeah, the injuries is what I'm really thinking about. I'm just yeah. like, yo, he had his best injury season since he's gotten to the, through the academy ranks at Man U into the Premier League. I'm just wondering, right. I'm like, yo, like, if Rashford can stay healthy, yeah, right. Sure. right. But if he's not healthy, then what you do? That's, that's where, for example, the, the, the fears for me, if I was a Man U fan, comes into play. If Rashford, for whatever reason, is out for three to four games, and this Highland guy at 75 million doesn't hit the ground running, you guys don't really have any other senior strikers that's really going to be able to pick up the slack. Um, we have a because few. We have shitting and not doing anything. Right, 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 right. Hundred so... million worth of real, <laughs> real shit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've not, listen. The, he's a ballerina. He's a nighttime ballerina. He should be yeah. in the circus, not on a football field. If they, if they ever had like the the Harlem Glo- Globe Trotters for football, <laughs> he can go there with Neymar and a lot because all they can do is tricks on the field. Can, yo, I've never seen a ball like that. Like I've seen guys that, like for example, I thought Sancho was bad, and I still think he is bad. But this guy, like once he gets the ball, I know either of two things are going. He's going to cut in on the left side and try to reverse pass or he's going to shoot. And that's it. Like, he doesn't go to the byline and try to cross the ball. Like, everybody in the world knows. You're like, once the ball gets there, spin around in a gig three times, cut in on the left foot, invert to the right, right side pass, and that's it. I think he really have to step up this season. Um, that was a big miss. I saw the coach, what the coach was trying to do. But it, I can say for last season, it was a big miss. You know, what do um, you think about Mason Mount in the position that you guys are putting him in, though? I don't see him playing any other position, really. Um, because we have my concern with him is just like, yo, when I watch him, he's not like, all right, for you to play beside a demon. Because basically, how I see you guys set up for preseason is that you have your demon right here, and he right. plays in that Ericsson role, and then Bruno is just a little bit ahead of him, right. right. But the person playing behind Bruno needs a range of passing that he doesn't have to run into the space that Bruno is basically occupying. You get what right. I'm trying to say? Right. right. I've seen him try to spray the ball and it just he doesn't have he's not a passer, he's not a pirro, right. he's not an Ericsson. He has the he has like the physical capabilities to run back and all of that good stuff, but he's not those guys. If anything, right. I thought that Bruno Bruno would probably play deeper. Beside Casemiro and give him the the, the, the roaming kind of ten position because he can play both. You know what I mean? Because he has the right. range of passing. Right. So we definitely have to figure how we're going to approach that this season because the, him um, he plays similar with Bruno in the in in how he he operates in the midfield basically. So mm. um, with Fred and 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 Scott McTominay, we really. In the midfield is one of my, my, my concerns. Sauce, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's one of my favorite midfields to see. Yo. Anytime I see you guys with those guys on the field, yeah. man, I just get yeah. happy. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a pastor going into the church. So the lay ass whipping down. Seven. So, so we have, so, so it's gonna be like a lot of pressure every game putting on Casemiro. We're gonna have a long season, so we definitely are gonna need. The other guys to step up, you know. Same with Rashford. Like I realize when he's not under so much pressure, he does well. So he's a good front runner. Yeah. I, f- I find like like when I was watching, one thing that I do know about Manchester United players right now is that outside of Casemiro and probably Lisandro Martinez, I like the temperament of Onana as well. But right. You guys don't have any like throwback players. Like you know when you're under two. And you need somebody to make you feel like you're you have a chance to come back. Like usually in the that's why you guys got seven from us last season. The first Scott time was my guy. Who? Scott McTominay, like 
that I like when him come on at the aggressiveness. Um, sometimes <laughs> he, he, he get <laughs> his technical abilities get the best, but you know I like when he come on the ag- trying to be aggressive. Um, I think I think eventually for McTominay, I think I think I think sim- similarly to what I think about Trent, in the sense that. He's playing a position he has never he was never made he was never made to play. I think right. I think I think McTominay I think Scott Nana have it right where he is a centre back. Because his football IQ in terms of spacing and positioning is not there. But in terms of his 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 all action, he running forward and actually tracking back, he's one of my favorite players to see track back. You know what I mean? Right. Because yeah. it gives yeah. you hundred and ten percent. If you're Definitely. pairing with somebody beside him that can kind of guide him, a la kind of like how a Van Dyke would do with a younger centre back, or to be able to say to him, "All right, yo, if you're going, I'm going to stay. If you, if I go, you stay," and kind of coach him through the game. But we right. at, right. at, at centre back. But also, right. you guys play like how like like ourselves with a high line. Um, he needs to play in a deeper setup. Very much like Harry Maguire. I think Harry Maguire going to West Ham. You guys, yes. he, he was it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> yeah, man, we respect West Ham for that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got some money back for him. I never thought yeah. that would ever happen. I thought that was the next Phil Jones. Like, just yeah. on the book, sitting down there, collecting two or three grand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really the one to really watch player as a player myself, so... You know, it wasn't really working out for him. So, you know, we, we respect. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we just wish, it, wish him the best going forward. Hope him can get back to this. <laughs> you're so pleasant. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're, so, you're so politically correct. <laughs> Tell me how you yeah. really feel. <laughs> Come on, so we, we just hope, we just wish him the best at West Ham and hope him can produce um, better for them. And he did for us, you know? He's <laughs> so politically correct. I like <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, Yo, listen. Yeah. A lot of it has to do with systems. I tell people all the time, I'm like, yo, listen. Every system is not made for every player. True, true. And managers, when they believe in a player, will make all systematic concessions for that player to do well once they see what they want to see in, in him. Um, right. When I look on Harry Maguire with England, top notch. Different. But the the setup for England is different. Southgate kind of gives him a deeper setup. He doesn't really. I think I don't think I have ever really seen England have centre backs that venture outside of probably twenty five yards, thirty yards outside of their own goal. They kind of stop at a low line. Right. So and they're not really exposed. They're not really exposed. You you playing yeah. two holding midfielders and hence they don't they, they don't concede. They have sure. rapid players in front of them that, in transition, they play very, very well. But, I mean, you guys have spent a lot of money this summer. Over the last, um, Tenag, Tenag has been backed. Usually, like, usually in a lot of fan forums, you hear about, like, oh, the Glazers, oh, get them out and everything. Like, this summer, these last two summers, he's been backed. Yeah, we, we, we needed to spend that money still because we're in that rebuilding phase. Um, you can see we're... We, the, <laughs> I'm go, just going to be honest. It's my side, but I'm not going to come and be like, yo, Manu right now is the... You know, we have a top, 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 top team. Right now, we're in the building phase. And it's just... I see where what he's doing, but I see where he's finding, like... It's rather difficult to find the players, certain players to fit the system. Um, just with Anthony, I think that was a miss for last season. I thought that, you know, big miss. A, you know? Big. A big, big miss. miss. EA so Sports I, big. <laughs> like, so, I'm, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just hopeful that these new signings come in and really connect with what he's trying to do. Because I believe in this system. I can see what he's trying to do versus the past coach. They were just really just on the field, just trying to do a thing. You couldn't really see any structure. Or, 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 right. right. But I see what he's trying to do, but I see that he's having problem with the, the, the personnel that he has to, 
yeah, have to I use. That's odd though. But, I mean, that's why, I, like, personally, I think that come January, if he's anywhere between seventh and eighth, I mean, he's <laughs> the Glazers are going to look at him like a man on the chopping block. Only because, let me tell you why, the Anthony has been his previous player. 100 million there, right? You have Onano, previous player of Tenag. 60 million there. I think he's going to do well. I have my reservations about Onano, and I'll soon tell you why. Martinez, 60. Casimiro, 65. Amrabat used to be, I think, I think he was an assistant, and Amrabat played at like FC 20. So he's a pass player as well. So all right. these guys that he's bringing in right now, Hoyland, man, you didn't care about Hoyland until Tenag said he wants Hoyland. Right. And that, yeah, that, like, is. I, that, that for me is like, you're not really, you're guiding the club to spend big bucks on unproven commodities. Also, uh, although, give him a holy per credit, Martinez is a hit, right? At least so far, because one of the things that I also am very curious about is that, guess what? Everybody can be good for one season in the Premier League. Solskjaer gave you guys second. This season when people kind of, they're now able to pull apart the tactics, put what he likes on the drawing board, focus on him. I'm very curious to see how he performs this season because the preseason, I mean, if you think I'm bad, I mean, shit, I mean, I have Trent alexander Arnold, which I'll get to him in a second. But, I mean, you guys aren't far behind i think we conceded 11 you conceded like 10 or 9 and that's not good over over the amount of preseason games that we've done and he's he's come out he's come out and been very aggressive with the squad right um i watch most of the preseason game i'm not so caught up with um the score line there was a, a lot of experiment i see him trying to do trying to switch up the, the, the formation and, and the, the back four a bit, trying to see how dynamic he can get with that. So I'm not going to really be too concerned about, about some of the, the, the games in the preseason. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, um, a lot of persons were very, very, very apprehensive about Martinez signing, like, about his Five. height difference and... Five. and he, yeah, he came in and proved everybody wrong, and I think World he's a fighter. Right? Yeah, yeah, I definitely believe that. You know, he's no pushover. I feel like he he will be a good good if, time going forward. I don't know if you I don't know if you remember uh, a player he used to play for Inter Milan, uh, Gary Medel. He played for Chile. Right. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Guy. He reminds yeah. me big time of that. He like Definitely. that spine where they had uh, um, Sanchez and then Arturo Vidal and Medel behind them, like work hard, but them short and they're stubby and aggressive. He reminds me yeah. big time of him. But then True. again, then you look, then you look, then you look on the other transfer, Tyrell Malasio. Tyrell Malasio, I'm seeing him. You know what I mean? So like yeah. out of out of out of his transfers, he's had more misses than hits, and he spent the True. big bucks to to do it. True, um, true, true. So I think that, like, in this season, if he's not in, like, a title race, I'm not saying that you guys are going to necessarily win Premier League. I don't think so. I gave my predictions about what I think the top six are. I think you guys fall outside of the top four this season. That's an unbiased, not a, not my hopes. It's unbiased. Oh, I'm going to disagree <laughs> with that. Uh, no, but we're not, why, I, why I said that is just simply too many question marks around the field. Like too many unproven commodities that you're hoping that they all catch fire at the same period in time. So for mm -hmm. example, you're looking for a 19-year-old, 20-year-old striker to give you at least, a, like a good return on a first season would be like 15 goals in all competitions. You know what I mean? I'm not saying right. primarily 15 goals. But overall, the whole competition, that would have been more that you would have gotten from my favorite striker of my new all-time striker, Vegors. Yeah, uh, but what you want to take in consideration is that even that guy, like, we didn't have, like, a one striker, like a hurricane that is giving us a, a huge amount of goals. So when we lose him, then you say, oh, we lose 20, 25, 30 goals. 
we're getting goals all over for the season. So there is not this one. We get a lot from Rashford. Rashford that's really did well. That's what, that, that's what I was saying. Yeah. That Rashford really yeah. kind of pulled through last season in a wicked way. Like, I would say between the after World Cup period to the end of the season, he's top three left-sided players in the world, if not best players in the world. Like, yeah. top three. Because you'd probably, you'd probably go with what, like Vinicius. You could probably say Mbappe. But then after that, it's like and a big toss up. And he's, and he's, no, I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying after uh, as a winger, like you would right, say right, right. Vinny, and then you'd probably say Mbappe because he prefers to play out on that left side. But then after that, like the first name that comes to my brain is Rashford. Rashford, Rashford. right? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So right. I, 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 I. That's my biggest worry. Help for Rashford and everything clicking. So and also, just... one of the things that I'm going to tell you from now, because he got <laughs> chipped twice in preseason. Just, uh, from somebody has has dealt with a ball playing centre back, uh, ball playing goalkeeper for the last now four or five seasons. So I think no, six seasons I think. And um, we've done extremely well with Allison. Those mistakes are going to drive him mad because as a he's a footballer that is extremely confident and has done things a particular particular way over the years. And the Premier League press is a totally totally different ball game. I mean, we have athletes in the Premier League and aggressive strikers. And a lot of the times, Edison made the same mistakes. Alisson makes the same mistake. I see Ramsey literally try to pass the ball out and then lick it right in the centre mid and then it goes to a goal. You look at a lot of these ball playing centre backs and they have mistakes in them. Just like any other outfield player would have a mistake in a pass. So, right. if you're I not, think... the, the difference though is that, sorry, the difference though is that when you have a team that's banging in goals, those mistakes don't really shine through. And for us, we've gone through a situation where in our best years, we had Salamane, Firmino scoring 60 or 70 goals between the three of them. And you don't even think about the mistakes of Allison sometimes because you're winning 6-1, 5-1. But if it was, oh, yo, we just drew 1-1 and those mistakes were... <laughs> I so definitely understand. Yeah, so, yeah, we don't have that fire force to be scoring that amount of goals. Like, if you check the, the scores last season, it was, like, more like one, two, three, the most, like, on average. I've so never, we didn't... Yo, I've never seen a man you gave where you guys bagged <laughs> four or five goals in the last Exactly. Time. You know? <laughs> so, I, I can definitely see where that is a concern. So, I just hope that yeah, he comes in. A lot of goals. Yeah. Yeah. But in the in the in the, I'm just curious. I, I, it's not a feeling. It's not a feeling that I necessarily get very often. So I just wondered, you know, like how does one feel? Like do you like go outside? Because seven is a divine number. You know that, right? Like that's God's number. Seven. I, I don't really remember what happened that day. I kind of just block it out of my memory. So. <laughs> Well, all right, let me, as a reminder, I tell people all the time that, guess what, <laughs> on, on the seventh day, God rested and we laid you to rest on the seventh day, so it was all divine. It, it was just a bad day in the office, it was just a bad day in the office. No, the office burned out. <laughs> like, we bombed that F up. <laughs> like, you guys don't have an office anymore. Like, we stormed the whole headquarters. <laughs> Flag plant in the middle of Stratford End. And we just, just uh, had a ramp. I mean, that game. Let me tell you something. I never had a voice after that game. I <laughs> called my bridge with Revy. I was like, yo, Revy, every time I call you, I was like, Gio, don't call me again. I said, yo, I got to call you, bro. Like, I need to check on your health. Man, <laughs> you guys got a rampant ass in that day. <laughs> I, hope, I hope for more of the same. I thought Salah got another hat trick on you guys. I was, about to, like, I was almost in tears. No oh, man, that's not that's not gonna happen this season, man. That's not gonna happen. Yo, you remember you, you saw when Martinez was like running down and he went shoop, 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 and then he dropped. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped. And then you just like you just passed it to get like, it's like, it's, I, I probably turned off the TV by then, so I didn't really see that part. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. That's why you don't remember. So I'm just kind of just giving you the highlights. I know you don't watch that game yet, back anyways. But it's okay. We have two. We have we have two fixtures this season. You know what I mean? God, yeah, we'll yeah. be watching it live together. You know. What I yeah, mean? definitely, definitely, definitely. 
You know, so um, definitely now. Let's wait until you know, your season starts. <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> Don't say definitely, yes. <laughs> No, man, I yeah. think we're going to get it together. I think we're really going to get it together this season. Um, most of the players that came in, they were pretty new to the, the Premier League and things. So I feel like they get a, 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 an idea what the Premier League is about and what they need to do. So I think they're going to get it right or even at a better level this season. Even if they don't get it 100%, I think they're going to step their game up this season and, and, and pro- produce a lot more. So I'm, I'm really it hopeful. Feels, how, how it feels to be back in the Champions League? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, I'm very concerned though because we don't have that depth in the squad. That is one of my major concerns. We don't have that depth in the squad. We have a very good first team, but when it comes to, you know, I have, yeah, I have, calling. An, in, I have an invitation. I wrote it up already. It's a nice, lovely card. <laughs> 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 I, put, I put the Europa League right at the front. <laughs> And I'm going to send it to you, and it's going to say, Welcome home, buddy, because you guys won't get out of the group stage. <laughs> I have money, you guys won't, because you guys are coming into the groups in part three, right? Third place. So yeah, I think you're, so. about, you're about to get like Benzema. Or, you're, yo, I just want you guys to draw Madrid. I think, yo, if you guys were supposed to draw Vinicius and them guys, they beat you like a Congo drop. I would be there for it. <laughs> like, so, yeah. I mean, well, I, mean... Laugh. I'm, I, I don't even know what the Europa League is. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what the Europa League song is, right? Yeah, like, I mean... I'm very distressed. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to places that they bump. I, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, you're watching on Thursday, huh? Wednesday, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I different know if I'm going to, no, I mean, <laughs> it, it's really depressing. I mean, I'm going to places like Angola, <laughs> <laughs> Kazakhstan, the back of are nowhere, playing farmers with pitchforks. Like, these guys no. are not full time footballers. I mean, that's what, I'm, that's what I've been degraded to. <laughs> I'm playing secretaries. <laughs> I don't yeah. watch Thursday football like I used to do. <laughs> Yeah, well, so, yeah, man, I'm busy on probably Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll link you on Thursday. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to hear on you on Thursday. I might just block the podcast on Thursday. Like, every, every day I get another person sending me something like a train. I'm like, yo, people don't take trains anymore. They're like, yo, where Liverpool going, you're going to have to take a train and ride a donkey <laughs> to get to the field. Walk by the long motor line like a two-stroke motor. I'm like, yo, yeah, <laughs> listen. One of those, stadium, no, one of those yeah. stadiums where I see like the, the train passing by the, the, um, <laughs> the, yeah, the stands. Man, that, the, it's bad. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I thought that the Europa League days were behind the girls, honest to God, but they're back. And, 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 and they're back in full effect because, like, I think, I think Europa League is, like, one of the hardest competitions to play with Premier League because the Premier League schedule does not adjust for Thursday. So, like, right. where you get those three days, irregardless when it's a Champions League, they don't put games for Champions League um, teams on, like, a Friday. Actually, 90% of that like, kick it back to the Monday. Like, Europa? No. You have, like, a Thursday game on Thursday a Saturday. Thursday and game. a Saturday. Yeah. Thursday, Saturday. Thursday, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. And they're just washed up for those games. So, where do you think my club going this season? Talk mm. What do you see? What excites you? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I, you, one thing I love about these things is I get to hold you guys accountable. I get to look back, I'll bring up like some little past slips. I'm like, oh, you yeah. said eight. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably like six, seven. I don't want to really doing much better than last season, really. Yeah. You're drinking mud puss piss over there. <laughs> Se- I seven. really see seven, yeah, seven. I'll tell you the only seven that awkward that is in league with my, my club already. You know, you have a nerve. You, you have, have a... you have Brighton, you have Brentford, you have Newcastle, you have all those sides 
even Chelsea, which I don't really think is but good right now. I mean, last I checked, we both have to play. <laughs> Yo, no <laughs> more. Seven. Oh. That's disrespectful. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> like seven. Are you mad? <laughs> right. You guys have to do well on Thursdays. Stay off the weed. Stay off the weed. <laughs> <laughs> the weed's not for everybody, my G. <laughs> right? Just stick to the white room and see you smoking. <laughs> don't do it. I tell you, don't tell me what you hope. What you think. <laughs> yeah. Don't go with your heart. <laughs> yeah, man, but I'm really excited about this Premier League season, like with the new signing and the teams and everybody. Like, I'm really, it's going to be an exciting season to see how it unfolds, you know? So. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 glad that you're excited. <laughs> I, I I I I feel the enthusiasm. You seem very very positive about your team. You seem very mm-hmm. confident. You're talking with your chest and everything like that. I yeah, mean, I, I hope, hope this, I, I hope, hope I hope this hope it continues. That's what I want. I want yeah. you know, I, I'm telling you, I, I I'm going to check the decibel on your mic after <laughs> this. And, and I hope, like, uh, I get one of those decibel recorders that say, oh, yeah, I mean, he spoke with his chest, yeah. I don't want your voice getting fine, like, halfway <laughs> to see the, I don't know how happened. <laughs> no, no, you see, once, this is the approach that I really want the coach to take this season, like, with the Champion League, cause we, we don't accept the fact that we don't have the depth in the squad, so I'm not really looking for him to really go in the Champion League to really say he's going to challenge. Just go in there and put in a good fight. But I really Just want him to focus. And go on the Premier League. <laughs> yeah, I want him to focus more on the Premier League than on the Champions League. You know, that's this the year. honesty I'm talking about. That, yeah. That's what yeah. I like hearing from you. I don't want to hear As, about, oh, we're going to go and do well and you're going to come second, seventh. You saw what you yeah. did. <laughs> you did. You say, yo, I'm going to go to the Champions League, take my ass with me, get out of that competition and focus where my bed is paid. I like it. <laughs> Yeah. That's introspection. That's growth. I yeah, man. I'm Mo- <laughs> moving, just, 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 just getting out of the group stage in your Champions League will be a, a major. Yeah, don't, don't think about it. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 just, it can happen. It can, it can happen. I'm, it just can come before before that happens too. So I wouldn't put your brain on that. <laughs> don't make your brain on that, my G. Yo, listen, you see all these smiles and everything? I hope you have these smiles come, come Monday. You see these smiles? I'm going to, listen, I'm going to enjoy every bit of this season. One man, you last season, what I really enjoyed about my club last season was their fighting spirit. Most times, most times, we are, we are trailing and they didn't keep their head down. Most of our games that we won, we, we won by coming from behind so definitely want to keep that um <laughs> positive all right you're about the funny money about, <laughs> about you coming from behind stop it <laughs> <laughs> like why up still but yeah we're trailing we're trailing we're trailing yes. yeah yeah that's a better talk <laughs> yeah 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 but guess what listen I I I am glad that you. The last couple of years has been depressing as a Liverpool fan. It makes no sense to kick a man while he's down, and you guys have been <laughs> down so long. I, I'm so happy that you guys are back, confident, talking shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna come second. Yeah. because it's like you remember say I have breadfruit. You know, like like a breadfruit in a. It's not going to drop from the tree unless it's ripe. And you guys have been so unripe for the picking for so many years. Now yeah. the confidence making everything just feel good. So yeah, when you I... fall and go splat, I'm going to enjoy every second of it. No I, think, money I, think you guys, I think you guys are going to have it harder than you think. I think, I'll tell you this. I think, I think, I think personally, I think Mason Mount ends up becoming a bench player if and when you bring in Amrabat after the first probably like four or five games because it's not balanced. I think you're going to have... i seen this young guy with blonde hair, ugly SOB, <laughs> um, Garnacho, that's what you guys call him, <laughs> says, oh, he plays nowhere but the left wing. He's going to rub his ass on that bench for quite some time if, if Rashford doesn't mm-hmm. like, like, 
I like Garnacho, don't get me wrong, but if you're only playing left wing and you right, just want right, a 70 right. mil, 75 million striker, I mean, sounds like him getting out of the club because where am I going to play? He wanted number seven. That guy got some balls on him. I'm telling you. He yeah, might have talent, though. He has some talent, though. No, he's yeah. good. I just don't know yeah. where he's going to play for you guys. You know, I'm he's, with he's, he's like a starter. Yeah, yeah. He speaks, yeah, like, yeah. He speaks like a starter, you know what I mean? It's like a see- transfer for Hoyland. It sounds like a good player, but it's just nine goals. You know what I mean? Oh, it's <laughs> prolific. Rasmus Hoyland. He looks like Haaland. It sounds like Haaland, but it's only nine dega dega goal. You know what I mean? In Serie yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So I think you guys are going to have a little bit of a tough time. I hope. Um, and I believe. You know what I mean? Once, no, sir, Alex I think- a key player for us this season is Bruno. Once Bruno really stepped up, Bruno first season for us was the most, the best season he had for us. After that, he really fell, fell off. Um, once Bruno really get back on that, he'll be a key player for us this season. Once he can create those opportunities, because we look to him for for creative Everything. for that creative sparks Everything. really. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So Captain Bruno. He, yeah, so once you have a good season, I'm, I'm very hopeful mm. we, 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 we will do well this season. All right, all right. I'll take yeah. it, I'll take it, I'll take it. But going back on to my side now, right? Give me give me, give me, me some <laughs> predictions for our fixtures. Uh, that's one thing before we head out from here. I want some predictions for the fixtures that we come up. I want to see, like, when you close your eyes at night and you're dreaming of Anfield and, and Stretford End and all of these things. What 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 you see being the outcomes home and away? Home, we're going to beat you guys. We're going to beat you at all. We're going to beat you at Old Trafford. I will say 2-1. 2-1 at Old Trafford. Anfield, I'm looking for Probably a one-one. No, I think. <laughs> let, yes, let, let me tell you. Man, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Law of average. Remember the law of average. You guys got seven Listen. and fours and five. I don't know how you. That that that, not, that will not happen again. The approach from us saw the approach that the coach made to that game. I know he made. He, he sent the side out to get a beat, and he made them because <laughs> that. <laughs> That our, our, our team that for that game was not ready to go out and play Liverpool like attacking football against Liverpool. That's where the big mistake, and I don't think he will make that mistake again. I think he will learn from that mistake. So once I saw the approach that he took to that game, I know that it wasn't going to end well. You see me? But I know him... him, him no, it makes sense. I know, I know him learn from that. You see so I know him about... that you do? You see those yeah. shots, eh? I know. I know. He <laughs> 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 learned learn from those. He oh, learned, learn, man. He learned. He's not going to. He's not going to make that mistake again. Definitely not and going to you, make that you, mistake what you, what again. What you calling for the Wolves game to open now? Open now. What you think going up? I think we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna beat them two 0 um, for the first game, yeah, I'm not looking for no big score. I think the most goal we're going to score, unless something abrupt happen, like you know, some three, three the most are. So we're not looking for no, no big man, score. Man. Hoping, oh, listen, Luton is in the league. I'm hoping. Yo, I've seen them in preseason. <laughs> I, I'm looking to break a record versus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Luton, that's that's a picking ground, yo, bro. That is a, yeah, that yeah, is a yeah. team that everybody is like it's like Bournemouth starting last season. Everybody's going to have a ass. Like if I'm Luton and I see Erling Haaland line up on the other side of the pitch, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't play the game. I don't <laughs> take three nil. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing that game. That game is going to be historic. Yo, I'm probably yo, early in the hall I'd probably fast before he play Luton. I'd just be like, yo, I'm going to eat everything on that thing, yo. That great white yeah, shark, man. listen to me, man. Yeah. Every time I see him, he looks like a gold out of Pokemon by D. Like he's just an alien. He's an alien. But I think I think I see them they, they went out for Lucas Paqueto. So I'm hoping that means that Bernardo Silva is gone. Mm-hmm. But anyhow, Akeem. 
I'm very, very happy. I have gotten all your information for the Manchester <laughs> preview for the season. Um, I hope yeah, you will, you'll be back. Um, we're going definitely, to have some definitely. More, some, some more episodes. We have some Arsenal fans coming through. It's always fun when they come with their deluded ass. You know what I mean? It's just like a concoction of delusion with you Manu fans and Arsenal fans. I have some Chelsea fans. I don't know where, which fans are City fans. I haven't found them yet. You know what I mean? That's such a yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I have to go and find some of those. But you know what I mean? It's like trying to find a Tottenham fan. It's like a needle in a haystack. You know what I, mean? I didn't know it's, it's like a rare Pokemon. I didn't know these things yeah. exist. So for the yeah. podcast purpose, I got to find some though. So anyhow, thank yeah. you for your time. And I hope you come back. And I will talk to you soon. Have a good night. Yeah, man. Goal!